Hi guys and welcome to a second episode in a series of videos where we are learning Java through Android Studio. So we're carrying on where we left off from our last video. We've installed Android Studio and now we're going to test our emulator. So any programs that we generate or create we're going to run through an emulator. Now by default Android Studio will create a runnable program called the Hello World program. Now the Hello, Hello World program is something that's used in most programming languages that is the basic induction of your first program using that particular language so this hello program will simply output hello world onto a device so we're going to test that we're going to run it through an emulator but before we do run it through the emulator I just want you to check make sure that you've installed the hardware accelerated uh, execution manager which if you have the Intel chip processor should allow your emulator to run faster. So when we set up our Android Studio, if you installed the HAXM program, it should have installed automatically. But we'll just check that. And to check it, we're just gonna open up a file explorer. We wanna to go to your local disk, users, your account, and you're gonna to wanna to go to this app data folder. Now to get to this app data folder, it's a hidden folder. So you're gonna to need to go to view and make sure your hidden items box is ticked and it will display your app data folder we want app data and we want local Android SDK extras Intel and there's our folder so we'll open that up and there's our application and we'll just run that application and it's down here and this is our setup wizard, so we'll just go next. Now if you see this, it means it's already installed. Otherwise it will just ask you to install. Now it should install by default. It has been known not to install correctly. So just to check that, Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager is actually installed, in which case it is. So we should be good to go. So we'll just cancel that. And clear this out of the way. So we can run our emulator. So if we run our app using our run app button up here or you can go to run and run app from there so we just we just click that get this dialog box up and it's defaults to launch emulator which is the nexus it's going to use a nexus 5 a pre-configured emulator you can set up your own emulator um, if you click on this box and you can create a new virtual device using some presets all different types different sizes resolutions densities but would we don't we don't, we'll worry about that later oh I'll just cancel that sorry I'll just get rid of that so it's going to use this pre-configured Nexus 5 device so we'll just click OK and it will start the um, Android virtual device just disappear just bring it back you can move that around anywhere you want and for the first time it may take a while to to load up and once it's, it does use a lot of CPU resources so once it's loaded it's always best just to keep it running so it's going to open up our device Installing our application on the on the emulated device, and there's there's what we see. There's our Hello World program, which just simply outputs Hello World. So it just checks it, it's running. We, we get no errors. Everything's fine. So it's all good. And this will work like a, a real device. Click our back button. We close the application down. Click our apps icon. We can scroll to our application, and there it is. There we click on that. And again it will open up our app alternatively you can actually run this through your own device your own Android device but what you may need to do is you may need to set it up you may need to set up your um, Android device so the software can detect and run the software through your phone so if we go to our run app box we get this box up I'll just demonstrate through my wife's phone um, how to set up your device to be detectable 
as in the simulator. So I've plugged the device in, it's picked up the device through the computer, but it's nothing to show here. It's because we need to enable USB debugging. We need to enable that through the developer options window. So what we need to do is we need to go to settings and we want although there's developer options there you need to enable that option because I've, because I've already enabled it in, through this device you may not see this so to enable this to enable this option we need to go to about device and we need to find our build build number and we just press tap on the build number and it says here no need developer mode has already been oh, wrong one developer mode has already been enabled but in your case if you haven't enabled it you just keep tapping build number and after about three or four taps a box will come up saying three more three more taps till you've enabled developer mode so you just keep tapping build number I think seven times and it will say eventually it will say developer mode enabled in which case you can go back and you should have this developer options box option so click on that and this debugging this USB debugging we want to enable that so we click on enable it's asking if you want to allow USB debugging and that will allow you to install applications on your device so just OK that you may get another box come up saying um, do you wish to allow this for future connections just in if you like just click OK and it will remember it for future so now now it's seen that there's a device connected to the PC so we can select that we choose a running device radio button click that highlight that and press OK and it should there we go so it's installed the soft the application on the phone on the device and we can exit out of there exit out of that if we go to our apps you should see our application there so we can test our programs through our own devices if we want as opposed to using the emulator so that is everything set up ready to go so we can actually start writing some code testing it out on, on the emulator and seeing if it works and we'll start doing that in our next episode so thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and don't forget to like press the like button if you like this video and i'll see you in the next episode